Hi, my name is Dr. Holly Schreiber. I am the Director of Education here at Pendixie Fossil Park and Nature Reserve. This afternoon, I'd love to talk to you about fossil hunting. We're going to go over the tools you need and what to look for to find your very own fossils. Come on, let's go. All right, so the first thing you want to look for for um, fossil hunting is the right type of rock. So you want to look for sedimentary rocks, and those are rocks that are formed from the accumulation of sediment or, or little pieces of other rocks. You also want to look for an area where those sedimentary rocks are exposed, and Penn Dixie Fossil Park is the perfect place for that. So you can see here behind me, we have our three main layers of rocks exposed here. Sedimentary rocks, remember. We have shale, a layer of limestone, that's that tan layer that's kind of sticking out a little bit more along the water, and then another layer of shale on top. So a question we often get here is, what kind of tools do I need to find fossils? And really, you don't need much. The first, is you should have a bag or a bucket to carry your fossils with. Next, you, you really don't need anything. You can just surface collect here at Penn Dixie. Many fossils can be found right on the surface and easily picked up. Okay. If you feel like digging, something like a garden trowel is fine, but really, if you just wanna use your hands and get a little dirty, you can find lots of fossils that way. It's always important to familiarize yourself with the different fossil types you find in, you, you want to find in the area. At Penn Dixie, we have fossil ID cards that all visitors get that'll help you identify the fossils you find. Sometimes visitors want to try their hand at splitting rocks at Penn Dixie. Um, so there are a few tools that could be helpful with that. First of all, safety first. We need safety goggles on. You don't want to be accidentally hit by a stray piece of rock flying into your eye. Um, if you want to split rocks, we suggest a hammer and a masonry chisel. They can be very handy to split between the layers of that sedimentary rock. Thanks for uh, listening this afternoon on how to find fossils. We hope to see you out at Penn Dixie this season. And remember, we have trained educators on site to help you find your fossils or answer any questions you have. Thanks for listening.